Welcome to the episode of Been There, Done That. My name is Patricia Baranowski Schneider, CEO of Pristine Advisors, investor relations, public relations, media relations, and marketing firm with over three decades of working in a wide variety of niches across the globe. Today we're going to talk about how you create your marketing plan. A typical small business marketing plan covers many things, including the list of competitors, demand for the product or service you offer, your strengths and weaknesses from a marketing standpoint of both the business and its competitors. It's a tool you'll need to use daily to reach your market and your profit goals. As you make your marketing plan, you need to focus on what it is that you need to understand to reach your market. These basics include details about your business's current situation, what is your product or service, what's working and what challenges are you having in generating new clients and customers, what issues might you encounter over the next year, maybe a new boss that might impact how you do business, or maybe even a move where maybe you can't work. Who should target market? Who is the most likely buyer of what you're offering? The answer should never be everyone, even though everyone could benefit from your product or services. To help you define your market, you need to determine how your product or service helps people and then figure out the people who need that solution. Maybe you have several groups within your target market, usually called a market segmentation, which specializes in specific niche markets or groups. For example, if your business helps people eat healthier, your target market could be those maybe who just recently suffered a heart attack or stroke, or those that go to the gym or practice healthy lifestyle activities, and anyone wanting to improve their health. Knowing your market and its needs helps you create a market-specific message and place them where they'll be seen for greater effectiveness. For example, maybe a recovering heart attack or stroke patient is more likely to respond to your healthy food ad if it's in a health-oriented spot, or maybe a recovery blog that speaks directly to him or her, Maybe, you know, a good blog titled, Your Family Needs You. Also, what are your goals for the time period of the plan? Be specific in your goals, such as increase email lists by X amount over the next year or find X number of new clients. It's important that you're able to measure the effectiveness of your marketing plan by having a qualifiable goal. Depending on your business, measuring market effectiveness isn't always easy. For example, maybe you have items for sale on eBay. It can be hard to know if your social media or your email marketing is generating more sales but you can measure how many people are responding or clicking from those options. Also, what marketing tactics will you use to reach your marketing goals? Let your target market be your guide in deciding what marketing strategies you'll use. Where does your market hang out? How do you entice them to check out your business? For example, if your market spends a lot of time on maybe TikTok, you might consider having a TikTok fan page or group, or perhaps investing in TikTok's advertising. If you're a service business catering to other businesses, you might want to write an article for a newsletter or magazine that targets that same business industry. How much will it cost? This is where you make a budget for your marketing plan. There are many free marketing strategies, although they require time, which is a type of expense. Will you do one-on-one -on -one consulting or group events? And if so, what will be the cost of travel, mailing of invites, purchasing support materials, etc.? Will you pay for your advertising or mailing list service? Of all the places to spend money in your business, marketing is the priority, as long as you're spending wisely and getting a return on your investment. How will you execute your marketing plan? Planning is the easy part. Carrying out a plan is more of a challenge. How will you fit it into your marketing strategies into your reg regular business activities? If you're doing social media, will you be using a social media management tool or hire a social media manager? Will you create content to share on other websites, such as article marketing or writing a blog? If so, how often will you post or deliver your content? You need to do something every day to get your business in front of your market. You're more likely to do it if you have a plan and fit the plan into your daily schedule. Keep your marketing plan up to date, like a business plan. A marketing plan is a living, breathing document. Analyzing your results, tweaking or changing your marketing strategies is an important task in keeping your marketing plan up to date and having it fulfill its purpose in helping reach your business goals. Many factors can impact your marketing results and choices, including market conditions, demand for your product or service, pricing issues, and new marketing methods, such as maybe a new social media platform. It's important you stay aware of all this and adjust your marketing plan accordingly. Studying your data, such as website analysis, sales numbers, and trends will give you clues as to what's working and what isn't. As the title of my post says, been there, done that. I can assure you that in my 35 years of working in the industry, I've done it all, and I've learned many, many mistakes. I've learned so much and can help you do what works best to get your story in front of the audience that matters most to you. Contact me to learn more about my story and how I can help you. You can find out more about me on my website at www.pristineadvisors.com or contact me at pbaranowski at pristineadvisors.com. You can also call me at 
756-2486. Until next time.